This guy also performs all over. We all do. We perform all over. It's crazy, these people. And he's a favorite here as well. Please give a warm welcome for Ken Burmeister, everybody. All right. Ready to do this. Wearing a giant white shirt. Look at the size of this shirt. This is one of the biggest shirts ever made. But this is like my favorite time of the year. I was shopping the other day and they have like all the Halloween candy on like sale. All my leftover Halloween candy, it's my favorite time of the year. So I start thinking like, you know, what I'll do is I'll prepare for next year, you know, I'll buy a bunch of candy now. And I'll save it for next year, be prepared. So I bought like eight huge bags of candy and everything. Brought it all home, put it away. I don't know what I was thinking, I can't even have a chance. Three days later, I ate all that candy. Like, How can you not eat all that delicious candy, you know? I'd wake up in the morning, I'd be like, let's see, I can cook myself breakfast. Nah, I think I'll have 17 Reese's peanut butter cups instead. <laughs> Wash it down with like 40 packs of Smarties, I'll be good to go. <laughs> Love Halloween candy. But I'm trying to get in you know, better shape and everything. I keep telling myself, Kenny, you know, you gotta lose weight, you gotta exercise. And right about that time, I remember that Wendy sells the Baconator burger. <laughs> Anybody even know the Baconator? Yeah. This is an effing work of art, this burger. <laughs> For those of you who have never seen a Baconator, what this basically is, basically, it's a Wendy's double cheeseburger with 9,700 strips of bacon on top. <laughs> I just love it. If just one of those strips is missing, too, I'll black out of the entire one you staff. I love the bacon. But uh, my fitness goals are changing now that I'm getting, you know, a little bit older. When I was like 18 years old, I just wanted to be like in good cardiovascular health, you know what I'm saying? Then I got into my 20s, I was drinking beer and everything. I was like, I just want to be like under 300 pounds now. That's like, that's like my fitness goal. <laughs> now I'm in my late 30s and Basically, I just don't want to lose my feet to diabetes. That's my, that's my main fitness goal. I just want feet. I don't care about the definition in my triceps. Just feet, thank you very much. So I'm, like a, I'm a big guy, but I'm not like gargantuanly big yet, you know what I'm saying? I'm, just, I'm getting there now. I just have to, I'm big enough now where I have to shop in a fat man store. And I love shopping in the Fat Man store, guys. So whenever I shop there, I'm always the thinnest dude in the Fat Man store. <laughs> I feel so buff walking around, just like, what's up, guys? <laughs> Girl, looking good, yeah. Is that a new oxygen tank you got there? Yeah. That is sweet. It matches your dialysis machine, all right. That is tight, bro. <laughs> They got these like giant 800 pound mastodons in this place, just shopping around, just walking around. Just like, uh, uh, uh. they see something they like, they're like, giant size 14X sweatpants. Those are sexy. I think I'll match it up with this huge 10 size t shirt. That says Big Papa on it. <laughs> Just like every other shirt I own. <laughs> God, I'm hungry. <laughs> you all be over there on the other side looking all tight and sexy like the smaller fat guy clothes, you know? Size like 4X, you know? Putting out the vibe, like, what's up, guys? Let's go. I can still see my feet. Look at that. <laughs> My ass is still separate from my back fat. Jealous? I can still wipe myself. No rag on a stick for me. All right, sorry, I grossed you out. Those sliders, I know. I might have problems later. Then they'll be in this huge fat guy huddle over there looking at me, like getting all jealous, you know, looking at me all sexy over there. They'll be like, <sighs> Who brought the Chippendales dancer over there? <laughs> I bet that guy only has to check his blood sugar like once a day. <laughs> God, I'm hungry. <laughs> they say that a lot. <laughs> but I'm uh, thinking about changing my name. My name is Ken Burmeister. 
kind of fun. But I had to grow up with that name. And like the name Burmeister, you can like make any nickname out of Burmeister, you know what I'm saying? Like anything Meister I can be, you know? When I was a little kid, I picked my nose in school, then I was the Boogermeister. <laughs> then I got a little bit older, I started filling out, getting chunky, then I was the Blubbermeister, right? Aww. It's horrible, I know. <laughs> then I got older, you know, 18, 19, drinking the beers, going out partying, then I was the Beermeister, right? <laughs> Now I'm like in my late 30s, and I'm still the beer meister. <laughs> I just can't shake that name. Like I go out, I get out like some younger friends, I'll go to their parties and everything, I want to invite the beer meister and see the, like the legend of the beer meister, you know? Go there, they give me like 12 beers, I'm just like, yeah, woo! The beer meister, yeah! Then after like a few hours, you know, I start feeling a little alone. <laughs> kind of empty inside, you know? A little cold, even. Then I realize I'm taking a crap in one of the coolers. <laughs> Again. <laughs> then they call me crapping in the cooler, my <laughs> I just learned to live with the name, basically. Right? But my, uh, my doctor got on me, he wanted me to join a gym. I was like, Kenny, you know, join a gym, get in better health and everything. So I figured, whatever, I, I go ahead and join a gym. What do they do the first week when you join a gym? They give you a free trainer who tries to hook you into working out and being a healthy guy. I don't know what these people were thinking. I haven't worked out in years. They gave me this freaking fitness Nazi my first week. It was ridiculous. As soon as I go out there, he's like, what's up, bro? What's up, bro? He throws me up on the treadmill. He has like eight miles an hour. Yelling all these dumb slogans like, feel the burn, bro. No pain, no gain, bro. After like 46 seconds, I'm done. I'm off that treadmill. I'm like, listen, bro. Uh, uh, no pain, no gain. It's obviously not the slogan that I've been using for all these years, you know what I'm saying? My slogan's pretty much been feel pain, stop immediately. And then order Papa John's. <laughs> That's all it was. So you guys have been awesome. Thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of your show.